I'm so tired. Send help. Send help. <laughs>Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Pooh's Heffalump movie. Pooh's Heffalump movie is a 2005 animated theatrical release. It is directed by Frank Nissen, animation direction done by Don McKinnon, editing done by Robert Fisher Jr., Nancy Frazen, and Anthony F. Rocco. Music by Joel McNeely and is written by Brian Hofeld and Evan Spiliotopoulos. The film stars all the classic people we've been having. I'm not listing them all again. They'll be in the description. It's all the people that have been voicing these characters for a while now in all these movies we've been doing. And also now Kyle Stanger, Stanger, Stanger as Lumpy and Brenda Blethyn as Mama Heffalump. This was originally intended to be a directed video release, which I don't think is a surprise to anyone. Uh, it was more surprising that it was a theatrical release. Uh, and it is the first movie to have a real actual Heffalump in the film versus all the, you know, Heffalump is very confusing. Um, and then it's a little unclear, but I think this was the last feature to have John Fiedler as Piglet uh, because he did pass away four months after this premiered from cancer. But I know he's at least partially Piglet's voice in Pooh's Heffalump Halloween movie, which I don't know what the difference is. That movie is soon, so we'll learn, I suppose. Um, I think it's supposed to be a sequel to this, but nah, I, I have no idea. I don't know what the difference is. It just has the word Halloween in it. So we'll find out, I guess. But I believe John Fiedler's voice is in that film. So I'm a little intrigued to learn about that. The animation that I loved the most was the reminiscent old Heffalump Woozle sequence animation um, that they pay absolute homage to from the original movie from the 70s. Um, the whole trippy, they have a whole song about heffalumps. They're, I think they're teaching Rue, I believe, about it. And the whole like sequence in heffalump animations and stuff like that is uh, exactly done in the same vein as the original movie Heffalump or Whistle Song, which is the best and it was my favorite animated sequence. I don't know why, but I hate Carly Simon's version of anything in this universe. Her version of Winnie the Pooh, Hundred Acre Wood song, I I hate it. I think cause I'm just like, the original movie is my like pride. And then Pooh's Grand Adventure doesn't have Carly Simon music in it. It's like, they all sing, I'm pretty sure. So I, those are the two movies that I, I watched the most watching up. So these movies, and Tigger movie I don't think has Carly Simon in it. So I think all the like Winnie the Pooh movies I saw didn't have any Carly Simon music in it. So now the ones I'm seeing that have Carly Simon music in it, I'm like, what is this? I don't like it. I'm sorry, Carly Simon, you're very talented and you're an amazing musician. Just not in my Winnie the Pooh universe brain. I don't like it at all. Um, I was very excited that Kath Susie Kanga got to sing, and I was excited when the characters sang. I was not vibing so much with the Carly Simon songs that she sings as like the narration. The Winnie the Pooh movies lately have been very Rue-centric, and I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, it like this is called Pooh's Heffalump movie, and 100% this movie is about Rue and Lumpy, and less about the other members of the Hundred Acre Wood. Um, the last one was called Springtime with Rue. So like that one, obviously the point was to be Rue centric, but I feel like, you know, this one also should have been like Rue's Heffalump movie or something like Winnie the Pooh, Rue's Heffalump adventure, or, you know, who knows? Because it's been very Rue centric, these last two movies, um, which isn't a bad thing. We love Rue, but like Pooh Bear is my guy. So I'm excited to go back to a little poo focus hopefully soon. Um, poo focus. <laughs> anyway, um, when Tigger said Rabberific, that took me out. Um, also, when Lumpy eventually called Rabbit long ears and Tigger was like, I like him already. Um, that also made me laugh. I think this is well written. Um, I think it's a beautiful lesson. It's very obvious what the lesson will be. Um, you know, heffalumps think everyone in the 100 acre wood is scary and everyone in the 100 acre 
woods. Things have lumps are scary and these stereotypes they have for each other. They're obviously going to learn is are wrong and overcome them and realize how sweet they are and be friends and blah, blah, blah. It's a very beautiful lesson. I love to see it. So good. There are a couple like really funny moments in this. Periscope Piglet took me out. And then the moment that made me laugh the most is when um, Pooh Bear had to carry a pot of honey to a trap that him and Piglet were making and he ate the honey on the way. <laughs> and they get up with the, the pot of honey in the trap and Piglet looks into it and sees that it's pretty much empty and looks back at Pooh and Pooh just goes with honey on his face. What? <laughs> this is so, so funny. And you know Piglet's just like, ah, oh, Pooh Bear. <laughs> What am I gonna do with you? Like, it's, uh, you can't be mad because it's Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear loves honey, man. Um, this is so genuinely sweet. My very first note is $10 I cry. Um, because guys, <laughs> come on, come on. Springtime with Rue made me cry. This one's gotta make me cry. It's almost guaranteed. Um, Rue and Lumpy were so sweet. Seeing their friendship blossom and how um, Rue went from like, I captured you to just being like, you're not captured, you're my friend, um, was so adorable. Lumpy was so cute. They got the perfect voice actor for Lumpy because, ooh, right to the heartstrings, especially when Lumpy can't find his mom. Oh my God, so good. 100% um, cried. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Jess cried at a Winnie the Pooh movie yet again. What are we? I think, however, I'm, I, there's only one Pooh movie I think I haven't cried at, and I think it was like a Christmas one. So, Jess won, Winnie the Pooh, a million. <laughs> um, and then something that I think, like, I'm so grateful for, but wish I could have actually seen scene was in the credits, they showed like a little scene of Lumpy meeting Christopher Robin. Uh, and I was like, that took me out because I was already crying. And then I saw Lumpy meeting Christopher Robin. I was like, that's everything I need in my life is Lumpy meeting Christopher Robin. Um, so took me out. Um, I love this. It was so sweet and such a beautiful lesson for everyone to learn not to, you know, judge a book by its cover. Um, always, you know, hear people out and um, don't jump the gun and stuff like that. It's just really sweet. That's it. That's all I got. My final rating is seven elephants <laughs> out of 10. Our total movie count is. Our cry count is. <laughs> Parent death toll is still the same. If you want to keep up with a movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I got a tier starting at just $1. Uh, you get a coupon code for merch, get every video a week early and the tiers above that. You get daily trivia. You get all the good things, okay? So just m monthly podcast, the podcast, which it's November for you, I think. So the podcast, I mean, the podcast for November is also really good because it's in the same vein as the October podcast, which was also so good. So get on it. Uh, until next time. Well, buy merch. This isn't merch. This is great, though. Um, until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and not charge of your life. You are, so do you, and don't be stereotypes about it. I mean, like, don't assume. Uh, all right. When you're feeling low, lower than the floor, and you feel like you don't have a chance, <laughs>